We can use Excel not only to make dashboards, but we can create interactive dashboards which are easy to navigate and use. We have a two years fictional sales data here, which runs up to 2,593 rows. The columns contain the following data, year, month, region, sub-brand, product, and sales and lacks. With this data, we can create such interactive dashboard, which we can navigate at the click of the button. We have nine charts, which are all linked with the three slicers here. If we click on any button, all the charts show the data accordingly. So, if we click on brand one, the charts will show the data for only brand one. Similarly, if we click for brand two and so on and so forth. If we want to see the data for all brands, we simply hold the shift button, click and select the buttons of all brands, and we have the chart showing the total data. Similarly, if we unselect year 2021, the charts will show us the data of the year 2022 only. Let us select both the years now and start using the data to create our interactive dashboard. The first thing we need to do is create a pivot table. So, we simply keep our cursor in any cell, go to insert tab, pivot table. We notice that Excel has already selected the range from the data available. We keep the selection for new worksheet as it is, as we want the pivot tables to appear in the new sheet, and click OK. We name the sheet as pivot tables. Let us start creating the tables as per the charts we have decided. The first table we create is the total sales for the years 2021 and 2022. We take the years in the column field and take the sales and lacks in the values field. We notice that we have done record breaking sales in the year 2022. Our heartiest congratulations to the sales and marketing teams. They deserve a huge round of applause. Next, we want to create some charts for the same data. There are two ways we can insert the charts using the data. One is to go to the insert tab and select the chart we want to insert. Another is to use the recommended charts option. We select the recommended charts and we see that it provides a host of options to choose from. For this data, we shall make use of the simple bar chart recommended by Excel to present the data. From here now, we can create pivot tables in two different ways. One, we go to data sheet again, go to insert tab, select pivot table, and in the pop-up box, we again see that Excel has selected the entire range of our data. Now, instead of new worksheet, we select existing worksheet, and in the location option, we go to the pivot table sheet, select the cell where we want the pivot table to appear, and click OK. Now, we can customize the pivot table as per our requirement. 2. The second option is to copy the pivot table already available in the pivot table sheet, and paste it in the cell we want the new pivot table to appear. Let us copy paste the pivot table. Now, let us customize the pivot table. We bring down the brand filter from our field list. Next, we again insert a chart. We go to the recommended charts and select the clustered column chart. Let us use this pivot table to create two more charts. The first chart that we choose is the bar chart. And the next chart is the pie chart. We again copy paste the pivot table and change the row label from brand to region. Again, we go to the pivot table, go to insert tab, select recommended charts, and select the clustered column chart.
We once again copy paste one pivot table and this time change our row labels by removing region filter from the row label. We then move the year filter from the column label to the row label. We also bring down the month filter from the field list into row label. Now we are ready to make our trend chart. We go to insert, now choose the line chart from the other chart options which are provided, just to make the chart selection process faster. We can very well use the recommended chart option too, but let us speed up a few things. Now, let us copy paste our pivot table again, and bring down the brand filter option to the column label. We go to insert and from the option of insert column or a bar chart, select the stacked column option. We again select the pivot table and copy the pivot table and paste it in the blank cell below. We now customize it to the region table by removing the brand filter from the column label and adding the region label in the same. Now we again add a chart for this table. We go to insert tab, select the insert column or a bar chart option, and again select the stacked column option. Now we are ready to create a dashboard. We add the plus icon, and it will automatically add one blank sheet in our workbook. Let us rename it as Dashboard. Now we select all the charts by holding the control button and clicking on each chart. We use the copy paste function to paste all our charts in the new worksheet. We can check the size of the chart by clicking on one chart, going to the Format tab, and on the right-hand corner, there is a Size option. We can change the size of our chart here. We select all the charts with the help of the Control plus a button, and enter 7 in Height box and 11 in the Width option. Now all our charts are of the same size. The charts are now overlapping each other, and are too big to fit in one view. So, we zoom out to 50%. We select the three charts on the right-hand side by holding the control button and move them to the right, and adjust them vertically by manually dragging each chart. Now we repeat the same process with the balance three charts. We select them by holding the control button and dragging them next to the other charts. Then we drag each chart down and align them with the other charts. Do not stress over trying to align them perfectly, Excel has an align function which will help us to align the charts perfectly. For now, we go back to the pivot table sheet, select the remaining three charts, copy them and paste them in our dashboard sheet. We ungroup them and drag and align them one below another. Once again, 
We group them by holding the control button and selecting each chart. We go to the shape format tab, go to the size option and select the height as 7. Then we drag and expand the width of the charts to meet our required size. Now, we insert the slicers in our dashboard. We select one chart, and go to Pivot Chart Analyze tab, and click on Insert Slicers. A menu will pop up. The first slicer we want is the year, so we select the year from this pop-up. We drag it to the top left-hand corner and adjust its size. We then right-click on the slicer and select the Check the Report connection. We notice that not all charts are connected to the slicer. So, we select all the checkboxes and ensure that all the charts are connected to the slicer and click OK. Now, when we click on the year field in the slicer, we observe that all the charts get modified according to the selection. We repeat the same process and create two more slicers, one for the brand, and another for the region. We also ensure that all reports are connected to the slicers and voila, our interactive sales dashboard is ready to use. We click on brand 1 and the charts modify themselves to match our selection. We click on brand 4 and the charts modify themselves to show data for brand 4. We select all brands by holding the shift button and our dashboard shows charts for all brands. We click on 2021 and it gets unselected. All our charts are now showing the data for 2022. We again click on 2021 to bring the data in selection. Now, we click in the region slicer, and select East. One thing to observe here is, the area chart is not showing anything, whichever region we choose. It starts showing a chart only if we select minimum of two regions. Hence, it is very important to know which chart we want to select, before we place it in our dashboard. Do comment and let me know if you found this session useful. Also, do come back and comment if you make a similar dashboard.